Okay, so um, I wanted to do a, a quick review about uh, the game Cyberpunk 2077 because uh, I've been almost only seeing uh, reviews from professional people and um, I feel like uh, there should be more consumer-based opinions and reviews out there and uh, so I just wanted to share uh, my opinions about the game and uh, in short um, I didn't like it I mean I, I haven't even finished it and I think I won't and uh, but the time I played it I played it for about eight ten hours uh, I can't say that I, I'm, I hated it there is like so many things that are wrong with it it's not just the graphics itself it's uh, also the mechanics the gameplay everything is kind of feels kind of old you know it's uh, feels like more like a ps2 games uh, game than um, than a ps4 game um, playing I bought it for PlayStation 4, uh, but I've been playing it for on my PlayStation 5, which uh, quite frankly helps a lot because uh, I've tested it also on my uh, base play PlayStation 4, and uh, it's just unplayable there. I mean, I would consider it to, it to be unplayable for me on the PlayStation 5 as well, because uh, I am honestly got sick playing it. Uh, I had to throw up, and I'm not kidding, I had to throw up. I don't know what they did with the image or anything, but the picture looks kind of like somebody put a Vaseline layer on top of the screen, and it just looks like kind of like blurryish. I mean, blurry. It's not the right word to use, but uh, it looks. Uh, I don't know, like, like, like you've been to a pool and uh, opened your eyes underwater and suddenly when you're outside again your eyes are kind of like not working right i don't know i mean <laughs> i'm sorry if i cannot express myself in the right words in english but i think you got the point and um first i thought it was uh, probably the motion blur but then i remembered i turned all of those settings off because it was terrible with them on so i was like uh, okay, so that can be it, but it's like some sort of uh, motion blur or whatever it is that it's just it makes me sick, and I I don't I don't know if it, I'm the only person or if there are more people concerned with that, but uh, in my case I was not able to play it without um, feeling the the urge to throw up. Um, so let's talk about the graphics. Well. I do have to say that I understand that the game was uh, meant to be played on PlayStation 4, so I'm not very picky about it. And let's be honest, like the graphics, it's not the, it's not what makes you buy the game. I mean, sure, it's nice to have awesome graphics, but uh, you want to have a fun game and everything. And I like, I've been playing games since uh, an early age, and I'm fine with uh, pixelated games and whatever. I mean, I think for me, the most fun games to play were on the PlayStation 2 and uh, I mean the graphics weren't exactly amazing back then and I still love to play them so uh, I was fine with the graphics of uh, Cyberpunk but um, I, I don't know I mean what I think is not acceptable is that they um, promoted the game or showed only the best parts of the game and, and then never really actually uh, showed us the real console version i mean yeah there have been videos out that they uploaded during last year and this year uh, about the console performance but i think they they are probably fake or played on pc not on console because the game doesn't really doesn't look like all the videos that they posted online it really looks like an i would probably say like a playstation 3 game like the graphics and there are like I, I really don't understand why. Maybe it's because they ported the game from the PC to like a console and tried to do adjustments so that it run on uh, would run on a console. But uh, I mean that's not the way to do it. And um, I think if it wasn't ready for consoles, they shouldn't even sell it for consoles yet. I mean there are lots of games that are only come out for PC 
and then uh, only after a while they, 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 they announced it for console and if it if they knew that the game was this bad on console they shouldn't even um, released it on on consoles which I, I think I think it's really frustrating for us consumers to uh, spend so much money on a game and then um, not really playing it because uh, you're either not able to play it because of all the bugs and glitches or you cannot play it because it makes you sick like uh, in my case for example um, so uh, about the gameplay it feels also very old like uh, I can give you some examples the mechanics I mean the, the how how you, how you be moving in the game and everything feels kind of like weird and old compared to all the games that have we have been having those few years um, I think I think maybe it's okay if you play with mouse and keyboard, but it just feels awkward playing it, play it like the movement, how you move in the game and everything with a fucking controller is just is really really weird. And um, also the 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 button layout on the controller is really weird. Uh, um, usually when you like have uh, we are used to um, use the the main buttons to uh, do all sorts of like uh, fighting actions like hitting somebody and use the fists and stuff and they kind of like decided to uh, use uh, like L1 and or L2 as uh, as the fight fighting button which is unnatural I mean you get used to it but it's still unnatural you know and uh, I don't know like uh, Shooting with guns in the game feels also kind of weird. It's, uh, I mean, for somebody that plays a lot of uh, first-person shooters, it's it's really weird. I mean, it's acceptable, but I don't know. I mean, it's a 2020 game, so <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad. Regarding also something funny that I found out that I saw in the game when playing is uh, uh, the car when you're like. Driving a car, it feels okay, and it's like the, the response time of like when you turn right or left is kind of like weird, if I would say, but it's still drivable. But when you're like in a passenger seat or like see an NPC drive a car, it's just terrible. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I will try. Like, um, sometimes the car, I remember the first sequence when you were like next, you were like in the passenger seat. Um, going back home because the city was uh, getting on lockdown or something and uh, so you were with your buddy and he was driving and the car is just like going very slow but fast at the same time like it doesn't make sense it's so unnatural and like when he turns around like when he turns left or right it's like not like in a smooth way it's like right left right left like you know like it's not in the curv curvy way it's just like it's unnatural. I mean, yeah, uh, I wish I, I could show you guys, but I'm sure there is lots of videos about it. And it's just weird how a game that took uh, almost ten years to do uh, to um, produce has all those <sighs> flaws. You know, it's just it's just, it's 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 hard to understand, especially when in our days you have uh, so many great games. You know, and it's just hard to find. Uh, so poorly, um, poorly developed games, and then you, you have this, which was like ultra hyped and was supposed to be like the perfect game and whatever. And at the end of the day, you get this. Uh, I mean, I haven't had the chance to play it on computer. I mean, I could play it, but uh, uh, it's probably not going to run it very well either. And unless you have like a 30, 30, 80, 30, 90, I don't think, I don't think the gun will run as expected. And um, even on PlayStation 5, it just, it's, it's terrible. Like it's so, I, I don't know how to explain it. And that's something that uh, I wanted to uh, throw out there and uh, like show my opinion. Because I know there are lots of people uh, experiencing the same thing, and uh, there are really, and especially people that are more furious than I am right now. But um, yeah, I mean, 
let me go let me know in the comment section if you have experienced any of uh, any problems as well if you're okay which platform you're playing on and everything but uh, this is not acceptable I think there should be some identity outside like some gaming identity or something that should like uh, not something like this not happen you know that it should, should not be even possible to release a game like this in our age it just um, unacceptable and uh, I hope they, they, they fix it fix some things very soon I don't think uh, they, it's going to be like from two days to, from one day to another it probably will take some months until they figure stuff out but uh, as of right now I don't know I, <laughs> if I were you guys I would just go to the store and ask for a refund or something because this game is is unfinished. It's unfinished. It looks more like a beta version, and even beta games sometimes look better. I remember in the time of PlayStation 3, there were like a lot of beta excesses and stuff.